Hey guys, Rob from the Off Grid Tiny House. Now, guys, I want to tell you something. This barrel stove is probably the best thing I ever made. Um, with with help of my dad, of course. But um, fan freaking tastic. I put very little wood in this. Two two loads. First load um, was uh, a bit heavy. Second load um, medium and it was all scrap lumber and it is cooking me out of the tiny house now what I did was I closed off the air to this thing because I want to leave and let it I just damped it right down so, so I don't want to keep it running full tilt um, this is the kind of stuff I threw in there all kinds of scrap lumber and if I can heat my place with scrap lumber I'm gold golden so remember I discussed uh, selling this guy and selling this guy that's official now I'm going to sell both uh, sell both and that will be sweet because then I can that opens up the layout of the tiny house I know this bad boy works and within an hour it's cozy in here guys because it just throws the heat everywhere and it warms up this cement uh, board too as well and that holds the heat like a thermal mass like that is you put your hand on there guys and it's it's freaking warm you're not gonna burn yourself but it's damn it's da actually holy shit even up here is warm all the way up the wall is just warm because this heat is just rolling up this window and going up so this damn thing is killer it heats the tiny house floor up very nice heats the entire space up very nice and does so much for me here at the tiny house I love it um, love this barrel stove guys highly recommend it and these old timers who came up with this whoops these old timers who came up with this amazing guys this thing will probably last forever and if it does get a cracker hole like I told in previous videos you can go to the hardware store in the fireplace aisle there's something called refractory cement it's in a putty form you putty it on you can putty it on both sides of your cracker hole once it cures it's permanent because it's clay high temperature uh, clay that can be heat reheated and with no issues basically makes this thing a lifetime fireplace wood stove for your place that is what I'm looking about looking for and that is sweet now if it gets to the point where you do have to um, get rid of this barrel stove all you do is find another barrel remove the hardware plug it back into your stops uh, your venting and you're off to the races guys that's it that's called ingenious because these in an SHTF situation will probably be readily available uh, barrels steel barrels 55 gallon drums they'll probably be all over the place and nobody will be looking to pick them up they'll just be rotting somewhere so if you can find a stockpile of these or an extra one at least that'd be sweet totally sweet you want to have the lid but then again this lid will probably fit most out there uh, so probably won't have to do anything just remove the front um, change out the barrel take the legs off take the flange off the damper flange off put cut cut and do that on the new one and you're good to go that is amazing and I love this fan up here now that I fixed the noise issue and it's just throwing the heat everywhere guys and that was much needed because if I didn't have the airflow with that fan this area near the wall we get too hot and it's warm but it's not not too hot the cement is holding the heat the cement this is actual cement board that I painted flat black to match the stove and man I can't say enough good things about this and with my new temperature probe now remember guys I just closed off the air so obviously I want it to cool down um, I'm trying to get it to cool down <laughs> so I can leave and be safe but like I said this guy's going this guy's going probably sell them for about a grand each come with all the hardware and then I have these giant holes to fill in the tiny house there and there so I'll have to figure all that out and at least I have options for funds 
That is sweet. I'm gonna have some options. The bathroom's kind of like a cold zone still. I can always flip this back so get some heat back here. I probably will do that because it's so much freaking heat. It's pathetic in here now. Oh, sorry about the poor camera angles, guys. I don't have a film crew. I haven't made it yet. I haven't hit the big time yet. Just hang it off the fire extinguisher. Let some more air flow. Let the cold air mix with the, the warmer air and go from there. And uh, we're slowly getting together uh, at the tiny house. So we got uh, aquaponics coming in the future. And with this stuff's going to be gone in the spring. So I'll be busy this spring, guys, taking all this stuff down. This is going to be a lot of work to remove this stuff. And this stuff is no joke heavy. So I'm going to have to figure that out. Oh, hula girl. She ain't getting much light back here. Poor girl. She's moving a little bit every once in a while, but that's it. So I'm out of here, guys. Um, let the let the stove just chill out, cool down, go from there. And uh, yeah, really loving it. Best thing ever, barrel stoves, barrel wood stoves, and you can load them with. You don't have to cut your wood in any, like, this is the kind of sizes I had to use. Really short, stubby pieces for this cubic mini grizzly stove here. And it would all, and I'd have to get up every three hours to stock it up. It's, it was pathetic. So now I can just cut basically tree branches to a certain length, throw them in completely, bark on and everything after they've been seasoned and just load this baby up and I'm good so in the future if I just got to go cut branches to stay warm then I will do that so that's what we're getting down to guys so pretty crazy um that's it for now I think I'm out of here